Hey everyone, welcome to my fourth war. This time our opponent is D69, these nuts, a master alliance. This time I have Havoc, Quack, and Red Hulk. We are starting our war. Now my path starts from the middle this time. I'm gonna go forward. My first opponent will be Mordo. I'm going to use Quick against him. We have Ebb and Flow Knockdown and Power Drain. I fast forwarded Quick fights again. It's an easy fight, but of course I have to be careful for uh, Mordo's power gain node, I mean buff. I also cancelled Ebb and Flow Knockdown node. And we got our first opponent. Now proceeding with Kingpin, you know Kingpin is buffed. He works different in defense too. I'm going to use Havoc, he has Ebb and Flow Knockdown. I'm not gonna be hasty about removing this Ebb and Flow Knockdown mode. First, I'm going to fill my SP tree. There is no rush about that. Always baiting his SP1. Easy baitable and easy counterable. Including heavy attack. From now on, when he purifies the debuff, he, immediate, he immediately purifies it. He used to wait one second before purifying the debuff. Now he immediately nullifies, I mean purifies. So it is easier to guess if he's going to purify the debuff or not. Now I'm casting a heavy attack to remove uh, the ebb and flow node. Now we have passive fury and my sp3 is ready and now casting. Huge damage as always. We are almost there. And we got him. That was our second fight. That was the end of my section 1. Now I'm proceeding to section 2. Made a right turn and going forward. Now we have Abomination Immortal here, going to use Quack with buff imbalance, redouble determination and heal block passive. Since we have redoubled determination it is safer to use Quack because he has a lot of power gain on this note through his debuffs. You know bleed, poison, armor break debuffs count twice on redoubled, on redoubled determination note. And we got him. We always use dexterity heavy method with quick. The safest method. Actually the safest me method is parry but we are not losing any HP while performing dexterity method. Now we have QT 2099 with rich get richard node. So first I'm getting dexterity buff to block his power gain ability from rich get richard node. Now we have same buffs, I mean she has one buff and I have one buff, so rich get richer node is disabled. And the rest is easy, we are performing dexterity method and we got her. Now that was the section 2, now advancing to boss field, starting with mini boss, Hulkbuster. I'm going to use quake again, lots of quake usage. This, in this war again sorry for that we have rage note here and since this is my last fight with quake in this war i'm using parry method it's the safest method and maybe easiest fight because I performed parry method and we got him. Now I'm going to my last fight in this war. We have Dragon Man. I'm going to use Red Hulk for him, as always. They always place Dragon Man on that note and I always use Red Hulk against him with invulnerability boost, of course. It's a must for Dragon Man, you will understand now. Starting now.
As always, we are removing Incinerate and Poison debuffs for Heat Chargers and blocking one of his hits to remove his Power Charge. Again. And Inaptitudes makes us heal some HP. Bad timing. One more SP1. We are about to fill our SP3. SP3 is going to save me. He's not casting his SP2 now. It's risky, it's dangerous and I got struck here. Two indest indestructible charges have gone. Only one left and his SP3 is filled. But I still have one indestructible charge and he is now casting his SP3. I let him to cast his SP3 because I, I knew I had my indestructible buff. And no HP has gone. I have my SP3 ready. He has unblockable and unstoppable. I'm casting my SP3 to push him away from my corner. And he is down through heat charges. That was a very good fight. And that was the end of my fights in this war. Now I would like to show my friend's fight. Ekita's fight. He is on stunning, stunning reflection polka dot power with omega red against thing. Thing? Yeah. Watch how he plays. A perfect omega red player. He completely knows how to use him. He fastly accumulates death's force on the thing. Also calculating his rock stacks and casting his heavy. You see, death spores are 29 and he has 15 rock stacks. Very good calculation. Not flawless because it's not 30. <laughs> but of course he can do that too. One death spore doesn't matter. You see how much HP the thing left? He drains his HP very good. Very good. <laughs> that thing hits his block so much. He's a block lover maybe. He's almost there. He was about to stuck into the wall. That was risky but he got him at the last second. Very nice fight for Akita. Now he has boss fight against Mojo. He's going to use Human Torch with pre-fight ability. He, he made his last controls. There are Magnetos pre-fight and Human Torch pre-fight on Mojo. And I guess he also removed the Dexterity Mastery. Yeah, you see? He was unable to evade his heavy attack. He's always blocking his SP1. That gives him smaller passives. That increases Human Torch's incinerate damage so much. That was close and he got struck. But he still has a lot of HP. He has Hater debuff, oh no. Degen and stuck against the corner. And he got him. That was a one shot and risky fight. Congratulations to my friends. Now back to my uh, wars. 
yeah, back to my profile. You see, we resulted 8 to 0. We beat their group and they died 8 times to our group and resulted with victory, of course. And this is the main table, main scoreboard. It's 13 to 6. Very good performance from our alliance. I would like to congratulate all of my friends. Battle group di 1 died 4 times, 2 died uh, 2 times, and we never died, guys. Especially I would like to congratulate my teammates in my battle group. It was a flawless performance, we never died. I have 6 attacker kills and 1 defender kills, claiming our tier 1 prizes. Now let's check the uh, alliance leaderboard, season leaderboard, yeah. We have appreciated to master rank 11. Let's check the leaderboard. I see Kenobi in second master at master rank 1, New Nation, ISO 8, Anonymous and Legends of Apaka. Very good job guys. We have Made in Brazil, PBT, TR Huna Selamlar and don't mind my name, we have at we are in rank 11. Thanks for watching guys, please remember to subscribe and like my video. I'll see you guys next time.